see. That's the one award. Manny has got some weight. And I'm gonna class that as a pretty big Tassie squid. What a beautiful morning out here in Anson's Bay in Tasmania. We're out chasing brim today. What I love about Tassie's brim fishery is that it's so diverse. You can chase them up the creeks and rivers and you can come out in the bay and have amazing fishing as well. What we're doing today is a slightly new technique. It's called Ned Rigging and man is it super effective. really important in fishing to try new things. I never used to catch that many fish in the bays, but Ned rigging's just been so good. And you may not get that many fish to start with, but once you crack the technique, you'll really see the results change. There's one. Right on cue. Whoa! <laughs> Man, that's zinging some line off. There's nothing like the sound of the drag just ripping first thing in the morning. And that Ned rig has just been annihilated by something quite big, I'm guessing. The amount of line coming off that reel. Oh, how good's that? Tassie, just unbelievable. There's so much to do here. There's so many good quality fish. And when you get the weather right, everything just turns it on. This has got some weight. Just got colour on the fish and it is a whopping big brim. Oh my God, look at it. Get in the net, come on. Yeah, whoa, that is a monster brim. Check it out. <laughs> oh. So you can probably notice the bright orange head on this lure. Now, if you asked me about brim lures a little while back, I would have said that it's gotta be all natural, but there's something about that little orange head on that craw that they absolutely love. And that is just a stunning big brim. My God, that is awesome. What a start to the day. They are great fun on such light tackle. And that is just pinned perfectly in the side of his gob. Out it goes. These are big old breeding fish. So they, I just, they've got to go back. There's no doubt about it. Check out that brim. All right, dude. What a cracker, just glowing in the morning light. He'd be pushing below 40s, I'd say, which is just such a good size to catch. So much fun. All right, dude, you ready to go? He's ready to go, off he goes. So this particular spot, it's all dependent on the weed. So there's quite a lot of weed in the bay here, but you want to find where the weed clears into the sand patches, because that's the best place to work your, work your Ned rig. So I've got a strip through here, that there's sandy bottom in this sort of three to four meters. And then once you get below the two meter mark, that's when it starts weeding up. So I'm just working along with the electric, casting along that sandy edge. <laughs> Man, that wanted that. That just creamed it on the drop. That craw just would have been just going oh, down to the bottom. And he is like, I am having that. <sighs> Stunning morning, just such a glass out in the bay. It's quite hard, you know, the bay over the river is that you, you have to deal with the wind. But um, on these glamour days, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. It's not quite as big as the last one. 
but just that take. Something about brim bites, you know, they slam it so hard and I just can't get enough. Here he comes. Still a nice fish, that is cool as. Ned rigs, love them. Here we go, give you a look at this fish. Cool size brim. Now, if you're on the mainland, particularly back home in South Australia, in the metro areas, you would be absolutely over the moon with that fish. But in Tassie, you're like, oh yeah, it's another brim. But they're so much fun. All right, pop this out, get him back in. There it goes. Nice fish. All right, dude, off you go, back to terrorise the crabs again. Beautiful. So I've noticed the water in the bay here is not super clean, particularly out in this sort of three to five metre area. And that's why I've gone with the orange head. UV reflects really, really well in dirty water and the orange has a really good UV reflection. So it's very important to consider stuff like that when you're picking your lures. So this is one style of fishing that your electronics are very important. The light's not high enough to see the weed beds yet, so I've marked my GPS on where that sand edge is, and then I can look at my GPS, just follow those marks, and I'm casting in the perfect spot the whole time. Let's get it to the bottom. Let those claws wave around. Couple of twitches. Sometimes too, you can just wind it and it drags across the sand and then it'll pop upright again. Such an interesting lure. Come on. It's great when it's calm because you have so much control. So I've just come to the last one of my marks which means the end of the sand edge, so I'm gonna travel back up and give it another crack. So I've just come back up to the first mark. There's a little bit of wind pushing now, um, and I've been fishing a one to three kilo rod, but I've also got a Ned Rig rigged on a two to four kilo rod, and that'll allow me to cast into the wind a bit easier, so I'm gonna swap. Just like that. Both still got four pound braid and eight pound liters, but just a bit, bit more punch into the wind. Got it. Change to the chartreuse head, the slightly heavier rod, punched into the wind, and almost instantly it was crash tackled. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. Just gives you better control, you know, slightly heavier rod, casting into the breeze. Another cracking Anson's brim. Come on, fella, up you come. There's no snags around, there's nothing to get caught up on the bottom, so you can just play them out. And when they get up, then you won't pull the hooks out of their mouths. There he is. Get him under the net. Knotless landing net. It's just such a handy item to have. This one, your hooks don't get caught up in it. And it's really good for the fish, particularly their slime coating. This one's just a rubber mesh net. And that is a very nice brimsy on a Ned rig. Check him out. You just waft that chartreuse head. Chartreuse and orange have just been such amazing colors. Like I said, because the water's slightly dirtier, those hot heads are just really, really effective. So your drag should never be set and forget. You need to work with your drag during the day because it depends on, say, the rod you're using, the fish you're targeting, and also different stages of the fight. So I like a slightly heavier drag to set the hook, but then 
if the fish is playing up and I haven't got much structure around, I like to lighten the drag off because then I'm not going to rip the hook out of the fish's mouth. You should never set the drag at the start of the day and think that's going to be it. Next drift, randomly the wind swung around, so I'm back to the light rod, casting with the breeze. <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of those lures being picked up off the bottom like that. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I went with the light rod, you just feel everything with a lighter setup. And that fish, he just picked it up off the bottom. Typical Ned Rig bite. As I'm fighting this fish in, I can see a couple more coming across the bottom. There must be packs of them moving along this sand edge. Really cool. And they just love a Ned Rig. There he is. Awesome. That is so much fun. You my friend can go straight back in. Oh, in the net. Hey, freedom is yours. There he goes. So I've seen a bit of movement on the flats. I'm gonna lift the electric up and just have a bit of a cruise along this sandbar. See if I can't spot a fish. The other thing I'm gonna do is put a natural coloured plastic on. I don't think they'll like the hot head in the shallows. Always tie the Ned Rigs on with a loop knot. I think it gives them better movement. Alright, let's see what's in there. Let it sit there if he comes cruising over to it. Let's give it a twitch. They're there. They're looking. Eats it. That was awesome. So I'm Ah, oh, I dropped it. No. That sucks. Oh, there's one looking at it again. It gets it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just so it shows the importance of not throwing in the towel and thinking, oh, it's never going to happen. Because one of the other pack came and ate it again. That was awesome. They were sitting so hard against the edge. So worth a look up in the shallows. That is a nice fish. <laughs> Ned rigging the flats, how cool. That is a stunning fish. Come on, dude. I'm so happy you came back. <laughs> That's awesome. So good to change to the natural color. Made the call early because if you went in there and you chucked out a hot-headed one, they probably would have all just spooked anyway. So, so good to change. Go on in. Check him out. That is a cracking flat brim. So much fun catching him in the shallow water. And as you can see, he's a real sandy colour. And they change colours to disguise themselves from all the birds and the other predators. You get them up the river, they turn real black, but this one's a real sandy one. That is so cool. It's been an awesome morning Ned rigging. Very, very effective technique. Catches stacks and stacks of fish. Off he goes. Oh, that was epic. <laughs>